648 time for the morning rush. A section of I-40 at the New Mexico Arizona border is reopened following a train derailment and explosion over the weekend. Officials say that the BNSF train was traveling west toward Arizona on Friday afternoon when it derailed and exploded. Now, in a recent update, officials said that controlled fires were still burning at the site because of leaking propane. Those fires are expected to be put out today. The trial for the man accused of gunning down a New Mexico State Police officer has been scheduled. According to federal documents, Jeremy Smith is set to stand trial for the murder of Officer Justin Hare this summer. He's facing the death penalty if convicted on those charges. Jury selection is expected to begin on June 10th here in Albuquerque. Meanwhile, the jury is set to continue its deliberations in the case of a former Albuquerque police officer accused of using unnecessary force on a man with disabilities. On Friday, arguments in the trial of former APD officer Kenneth Skeens wrapped up. If convicted of all charges, Skeens could face four years behind bars. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Low 40s this morning means you'll need the layers. It's a little chilly, but it will be a warm afternoon. New Mexico House Republicans are now requesting to join a lawsuit against the state's public education department. Last week, State Superintendents Association, along with 54 New Mexico school districts, filed a lawsuit over the new rule requiring a 180-day school year. The suit claims the PED is overstepping its legal authority. APS students, some of them, will have a chance to watch an oral argument on a state Supreme Court case. That case before the court involves a lawsuit brought against APS after a high school teacher called a Navajo student a derogatory term uh, that was during a class in 2018 on Halloween. Students may attend in person or watch virtually through a live stream of the proceedings. There's still time for anyone in the Albuquerque area to take part in the City Nature Challenge. The Global Initiative is calling for people to take photos of plants and wildlife around the city and share them online using the iNaturalist app. The city will be holding a public walk led by UNM Biology at the Candelaria Nature Preserve this afternoon at 1. Erica. Here's a check on our threat index. It is a low. It's going to be a beautiful, quiet day all across the state. We only have to get through these freezing temperatures in northern New Mexico this morning. Nearly a year after a deadly Memorial Day shooting at a popular motorcycle rally, the town of Red River is getting ready for their new event that is called Mayfest in the Mountains. Officials are focusing on making it family friendly with live music, games and activities for everyone. Meanwhile, Mother Load Saloon is planning their own event, which will include a bike show. Both events will run from May the 25th through the 27th. A group of Albuquerque High School students are learning how to keep a garden green. Nearly 25 students are part of the school gardening club that began two years ago at Albuquerque High. In that time, the school has gone from having one garden to having six, all of which are filled with vegetables and fruits. One watermelon even growing to about 28 pounds. Diplomatic efforts, they are ramping up in Israel as a last-ditch attempt to revive, revive the ceasefire talks and secure a hostage deal in Gaza. Israel is now facing a choice to either prioritize a deal or begin a new assault on the city of Rafa. And a, if a full-scale offensive is launched, the more than 1.4 million Palestinians sheltering there will be left with nowhere to go as much of Gaza is uninhabitable. Erica. All right, a check on traffic. The maps are clear. No accidents or slowdowns to report. Tracker is heading west on I-40 near the Big Eye and moving up to speed. When you're all tied up in knots because you can't make a good knot, a sheriff's office will ride to the rescue. On his way to prom, one high school student stopped at the Pueblo County, Colorado Sheriff's Office for help with his tie. Fortunately, detention deputy Jansen graciously loaded a few good loops and twists and voila, the problem was solved. Time now for the five facts. And number five happening today, the city will be hosting a public nature walk at the Candelaria Nature Preserve. The walk will begin at one. It's part of a global initiative calling for people to take photos of plants and wildlife around the city and share them online using the Naturalist app. You can upload photos from around Bernalillo, Sandoval and Valencia counties. At number four, the town of Red River is now getting ready for their new Memorial Day weekend event. This comes nearly a year after a deadly shooting took place at the popular motorcycle rally. Well, this year officials say that this new event will be family friendly, live with music and uh, of course include games and activities for everyone. The Mother Load Saloon will also host their own event. And at number three, it's going to be a warmer and quiet day. Temperatures making it from the 40s this morning back into the mid 70s this afternoon with sunshine. And number two, New Mexico House Republicans are requesting to join a lawsuit against the state's public education department. Last week, the State Superintendents Association, along with 54 New Mexico school districts and charter schools, they filed a lawsuit over the new rule requiring a 180-day school year. That suit claims that the PED overstepped its legal authority. 
saying that the new requirement conflicts with state rules that allow districts to opt for four day school weeks. Now a group of House representatives, they are voicing their support rather for the litigation, saying that they're quote, disappointed that the governor and the PED continue to push forward with an unworkable rule. And at number one, we're now seeing video of an explosive train derailment near the New Mexico Arizona border. The BNSF train was traveling west toward Arizona Friday afternoon when it derailed and exploded. Officials are still investigating what may have caused that crash, but say 35 train cars were involved. Officials say controlled fires are burning near the site due to the leaking propane. Those fires are expected to be out today. I-40 is back open. As of this morning, no injuries have been reported.